All right, folks, we got new maps. This is the Imperium first map from the Dune map pack. Who likes Dune? Well, the old Peepman is the uh, Kwisatz Haderach. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. What is up? Risk takers. Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination. Daily release on YouTube. I do weekday streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. Look at this. Our first look at our first map in the Dune map pack. I'm in the second seat playing as Blue Knight. Lose a four stack in the open. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not another one. <laughs> All right. Losing a four stack in the open sucks. I have not looked at this map at all. Three, two, two. It's two for two up at the top. Two for two on there as well. Oh, weird. Okay. It's a small map that's all choked up around a ring around the outside. So I'm just going to take this. Start like that, I think. Don't know what other options I have. Okay. Two position play. We have a five and a six and an ancillary three that probably gets popped as well. Um, first thing I want to do is I want to take a look at the bonuses. So here we go. We have uh, two for two of transport, two for two of flagships, two for two of frigates. Uh, Kaitan is a four territory plus three. Uh, Seleucus Secundus is a three territory plus three. Gieti Prime, five territory plus three. Wallach, nine, also worth plus three. Red smacks me there. Okay, Arrakis in the middle worth plus seven, and Highliner Fleet worth plus two if you hold it. Um, choked up map. That takes two plus twos in the open. Yeah, this map is heavily spawn dependent, and it's small. Right? Um, 10, 18 plus six, 24, 29 plus seven, yeah. Yeah, it's sub-42 territories. It's smaller than Classic. Um, so this game is going to depend on who takes what. Yeah, it's, it's basically, it's really going to depend on um, how many troops you spawned with and what you do with them. I might steal Black's bonus here. I don't think there's any reason for me to let him have that. Oh, I could snag a the... And at least I'll be in two positions, one of them generative. And green's going to take this. And be next to black. Right, turn two. What does yellow do? Yellow holds. Yeah, that's got to be bad for black too, right? Please don't put on the other three. Don't put on the other three. That's going to be bad for black to so hitting something. Rules of 6v5. Oh, poor guy. Poor guy. All right, both... Both roles beneficial to me. Both roles beneficial to me. Okay, one troop here. One troop here. I think we do both troops there. We take two bonuses. We see who wants to let me actually exist like that. And I think I threaten uh, white on both sides. Maybe I split to guard. Yeah, I think that actually makes more sense. Split to guard both. And we'll see. I'm kind of surrounding white there. So if I can hold two plus twos, I'll be in a good way. I probably don't hold either. I'll probably get popped out of both positions. Well, white still doesn't have their bonus, so maybe not. Red's going to take this here. Yeah. I think the steal there on black was savvy, but that only works if I hold. Hey, black's gonna break the bot. Gets reasonably good dice. Oh, <laughs> okay. Black's gonna pummel the shit out of the bot. All right. That's actually really good if black doesn't get invaded in the bottom left. Oh, what an odd map. What an odd map. So, okay, so this is like, it's just a, a contiguous ring around the outside with 
ways into the middle. And then this basically uncontested middle zone. That is where you're going to trade. White puts off. Oh, White wants to be cool with the Pateman. All right. Fuck yeah, man. If White wants to be cool, thank you. Yeah, dude. But Green doesn't. Green's going to break me. Well played. I don't think Black gets... Uh, <laughs> I think Black gets any benefit from that. Okay, but Green doesn't break the other one. Huh. Bot's almost dead. Bot's going to hit either green or black here. And I need to let white have options. So I show good faith to him. We're now back in this game, I think. He says, well played. Yeah, well, you want to be cool with me, I'll be cool with you. Uh, you're getting plus three. I'm actually getting plus four. Black and yellow are on the ropes. Red says, oops. Why? Red can't take a card? He put his troops in the wrong place. Don't break me. Oh, I'm not hitting you. Don't worry. I'm not hitting you at all. You're off bonus, so red still needs to... Yeah, you're also going to have to deal with this yellow five. I think that, you know, yellow might add to the five and go smack a Reno here. So. Red spawning with a nine stack in the middle of the board sucks. Yep. And Black's going to keep pushing into that bot. I'm still in three positions, two of them generating. This is great. He pulls his troops all the way off of green. There's no reason for green to not continue pushing into you there. White is the best player in this lobby other than me. Pretty sure. If I'm green, I continue to push into black because I'm really facing no resistance. As you probably get the black kill even. Oh, he guards the other front. He breaks Pete. That would be dumb, though, because then I can hit you this way. I don't think he does that. I think he breaks black off the seven line. Thinking about it. Won't miss a card. He skips. Skips in the final seat. <laughs> All right. So you're going to get eaten when you're on five cards. Poor green. Skips in the final seat. Okay, black was a five here. And... Yeah, poor guy. Poor guy. All right, we now have a big puncher. <coughs> it's mostly open in the directions I want it to be open in. Someone might cha chain the orange or the yellow and black kills. If black survives, he sets. Okay. Nobody's going to pop that three in the middle, though. Green choosing to skip here is an interesting play. I think it's I think it's objectively terrible. Um, they were already in the final seat, so they don't improve their card positioning. Oh, I'm kind of blocking the shot, aren't I? Damn it. I realize how poorly framed. Yeah, that's a bit better. You guys need a smaller peat. Okay. Yeah, do we see black quit from that? I think we do. 
Does Black Spot have cards? If so, they're going to set it at the last second and not take a card. It's always my least favorite type of bot. Black said, fuck this and closed the app instead of surrendering. And his bot does not have cards. Okay, card flow is going to be important here. We now have green and black off sequence and yellow has set. Yeah, white is fast and good. White knows how to play. Green just kills black, I think. And sets. Perfect dice. 100% rolls on the black kill. So instead of being on the 15 trade now, why are you manually 100% roll? <laughs> All right, green is not very good. Yeah, instead of being on the 15 trade now, he gets the six. He lose black. You don't see an end screen. That's a weird glitch. And we're well lined up as green to kill yellow as well. Okay, so green is in a very good way. I can't actually get myself in position to kill yellow. So my play is to just keep stacking troops in the mid board and being in three positions. I actually want more troops on either side as well. So just make my kill hard enough that nobody wants to take it. I'm not breaking you red, don't you worry. I just want stacks. I want three positions, and I trust white. White's not going to hit me till they're trying to kill me at this point in the game, and I'm going to do the same to them. I'm 37 and 5, and I'm in three places, which is key, right? Nobody's just going to hit me and face the retaliation, and nobody can really kill me. Red sets gets the 8. They go for the yellow kill here, which won't set them. So Red's going to be sitting on four cards at the end of their turn. Because they will get this kill. I'm reasonably well, well lined up to kill red, I think. So set kill red. Set is probably on the table. Let's see if white takes it before me. Not worth it, though. Right? 38 troops for four cards. It's too early in this game. We've all been holding bonuses. We're only on the 10 trade. So set kill red sets on the table, but I don't take it. It's white trade. Surely white sees what I see. I, I get the read that white is the best player in this lobby other than me, so... I think red is good, and I think green is good, but I think white is great, based on what I can tell. Yeah, he doesn't even trade. He doesn't need to. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I think I let these guys hit each other. Try to maintain three positions for as long as possible. Just getting my measly little plus twos, you know, no big deal. Nobody's worried about plus two. It's a guard stack. You just don't want my eight to break him. That's an interior guard stack, which you really don't want to do in progressive. And we're in chip on red. We're making our other seven interior. Okay, green is the worst player in this lobby. Okay, set. Uh. Glory. Where do I get benefit? Oh, both of those top ships. The the one on the left is called. 
Atreides flagship. Okay, Atreides flagship it is. Ooh, do I want to open the green 15? Maybe I do, actually. Maybe I do. Maybe I want green, because they seem to suck. Uh, <laughs> maybe I want them to get the bright idea to use it on some of the D. I read checks because they don't like me stacking on their border. That's the fundamental problem with these two bonuses is you're going to be st even to guard them on a single position. You can't guard them interior. There is no interior. I think red gives up that territory. I take it. I think this is actually the best territory on the map for the late game. Central Arrakis. All right. White sets. White is going to take the 12, which means green gets the 15. Assuming they trade on four. White has spent a lot of time thinking. That tells me they were debating a kill. They take that central position. Yep, they see what I see. Fuck, this guy's good. Right on, man. Who are you? Poitain. Who are you? This, this gentleman knows how to play. I like that. Yeah, outcome from this game now could be any of us. Ooh, he's going to steal my shit? You dumb bastard. <laughs> I get punished for opening you. He steals my shit. Okay. All right. Well, that's that probably ends my game. So because uh, because green is a moron, um, and I can't retaliate. I think that ends my game. I think white kills me. Well, maybe red kills me here. Your red can kill me, right? Let's see if red does. If I live to trade. I mean, green's on five cards, so kill green instead. Right? Somebody kill green. Can white kill green? White's not lined up for it. That's what I should have done. Ooh, now, now they are. White can set kill green. White can go like this if they have cards. Let's punish this mofo. Oh, he's not. He opens him again. Okay. Green lives to trade. It's well played. He opens me to green so I can hit him. Green takes a 20 trade. We're hiding in the literal middle of this board. And we are off sequence now. I think that's actually a favorable place to be in for the the trades. I think Green's a stupid, stupid idiot, and he's going to keep hitting shit. Um, and now it's not going to be me. It's going to be white or red. Feed someone else's kill, jackass. These bonuses matter, but they don't matter a lot. They matter enough for the the first and second sequence. Okay, white sets. I don't think white takes a kill here. They line one up. Okay, green getting 12. I'm not really his neighbor. He can't 
Gap won't try to hitting me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, we're all this whole game is now pivoting around trying to avoid Green, who's an idiot. Okay, Green's gonna set. Who is this bad for? Is this randomly bad for me because I'm in the middle? No, I think it's bad for white. Nah. Green closes his fucking line off. Okay. Fine. Doi. Doi yoi yoi. Set. That might actually be a line of play if red misses. Let's see if red misses. <coughs> nope, red does not miss. Okay, they can't kill me profitably. Ooh, stack goes out. Why? All right, not having said here pretty much means I die. Let's put myself in a third position. Don't really feel like that's an option. Okay, I go to four cards, who kills me? Maybe I don't go to four cards. Huh? I think I go to four cards, I die. We'll find out. Choked up board. I think I die. I don't think I get another turn. Red can't actually kill me. Right? White. Oh no, I have no set. Oh. Oh, now I have to make a very hard kill. No. Can I even do it? How would I? Would I fucking. Oh, no, I'm dead. No set on four. That's game. Fuck. Ah, fuck this fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all I needed was normal luck. Or maybe green explodes and does something super dumb right now. Come on, green, be a moron. Be the moron I know you are. Fucking feed me a win. Keep hitting shit. No, oh, he is playing it like it is fixed. Okay. Well, White has a set I die, so. We remove him from the middle. I think white still kills me. This is my ploy to try and survive. Keep red closed to my kill. Green closed to my kill. 
It's a very low odds play because white needs to... Okay, red has a set, I die. Bet on three, but he can't get this. He's going to fail my kill. Ah, you fucked up. Oops. Okay, he's going to kill green instead. Yes. Yes. That's better. That's way better. He's going to kill... He's going to kill white for me. I love that. Yes. Yes. Oh, it worked. It fucking worked. I can't believe it. I can't believe feeding the white kill worked. Holy shit. All right. He doesn't trade from this. We lose the strongest player in the game. Oh, man. Do I live to trade? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Do I live to trade? Do I live to trade? Oh, man. I love this. Let's go. I can't believe I weaseled out of death. Sneaky, sneaky Pete. Let me tell you. Can green move fast enough to impact this outcome? Yeah, green's going to help me kill red. You dolt. <laughs> you dolt. <laughs> Thing where he puts the 46 doesn't even block with it right yes that's not a block wow do we go from hero to zero folks get the fuck out of here Oh, -ho! good game, bro. Yeah. Dude, tell me, you tell me you fucking watch the show. Um, shout out to White for being excellent. I'm sorry I had to feed your kill. Shout out to Red, <laughs> making making mean jokes at Creed's expense. But I can't believe I won this game, ladies and gentlemen. Can't believe I won this game. Look at that. Feels good. Okay. Well, we're starting off on the right foot with a W. Don't love this map. It's small. It's choky. We need bigger open maps. At least for Progressive World Dom. Uh, defeating two beginners, two experts, eh? Okay. Uh, green was a very poor quality expert, and... Um, White was a very high quality expert. So what does that tell you? GG fellas. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, what do you think of the new Dune map pass? We're going to do a uh, first look at each one of them one by one. Uh, if you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. I do weekday streams on Twitch. For all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.